morning. We've got a couple of busy days now because we've got rain on the way. I've been busy cultivating for the last couple of weeks and some of the ground that's destined for grass seed has gone very fine and dusty and if it gets a lot of rain on it it'll go like a load of cat excrement and uh, we won't be drilling it at all. So just got the drill on, um, pick up the seed now, get it calibrated and off we go. So what I've got to do is measure an amount out, one twentieth of a hectare, weigh it and then work out that that's right. I need 1.7 kilos because it's going on at 37 and a half kilos a hectare. What I'm looking for, 1.7 kilos, what's that? 1.67, 1.69, that's close enough. This flap here is the calibration flap. When it's like that, seed comes out here into a bag, which you then weigh. When it's shut, it gets blown around here and distributed out the back of the drill. You've got to remember to shut that when you've calibrated it. Anybody who claims to have never forgotten that is a liar. Because I guarantee at some stage you'll forget it. Uh, just have to hope you don't drill too much without realising. It's not all about eating pies and stuff when you're on the tractor. Especially in the autumn, because the fruit's ready, as you can see behind me. So we've got apples, blackberries, pears, damsons, plums. Uh, what else? Walnuts. And this year, it's absolutely in abundance. I don't know whether I'm up to my nuts in plums or up to my plums in nuts. Just get out and check what sort of job it's doing. Grass seed. Then you want the coulters touching the ground. You see that? They're not even they're clear of the ground. They're just spraying out on the floor. The following harrow just covers the seed. We just look down here. Christ, this is dusty. Bloody hell. If anyone's wondering why we're not direct drilling it, uh, we do sometimes, just not on this farm this year or with this drill. But it's probably a bad decision because the amount of dust, I mean, look at that, it's just unbelievable. And uh, yeah, but it's certainly something we're going to do more of in the future. As we all know, for a good lay, and that's a grass lay, you need a nice firm bed. And this is firm, fine and level. That is firm. It's exactly what we need. And you should be able to ride a bike across it before you drill it. Uh, and you can quite happily ride bare ass to London on this surface. There's two reasons for that. One, grass is a very fine seed and can't go in too deep. It only needs to go on the surface. And two, We'll be literally driving over this field hundreds of times in the two years that this lay is going to be down. Sometimes you've got to ted the crop ten times to get it dry. And the wheels on tedders and rakes and stuff are tiny. And if it's rough, you just smash everything to bits. So it's really important to get it nice and level. Well, this week I've been mostly eating plums. But today on the engine, I've cooked uh, a can of minestrone soup some freshly baked bread. That's the ryegrass finished, finally. Now we're going to drill some timothy, which goes for hay. And that's 900 quid's worth in those little bags. And if you look at the seed, it is absolutely tiny. You can see it, it's like dust. So you've got to be really careful calibrating this, because we don't want to put it on at the wrong rate, because it's too expensive to waste. That's it, that's all the grass drilled. All we need now is some rain. I've just come out of my house, find this lot. Shouldn't be here, obviously. So, it's a fairly regular occurrence in the countryside. Sheep escaping. I'm going to find out who they are so I can ring them up and tell them to come back and fetch them. <laughs> 